The following is a sample interview recorded for PrivateEquity.com Radio and the Certified Private Equity Professional CPEP Certificate Program. To download the full interview and unlock other benefits for private equity professionals, become a Platinum Member of PrivateEquity.com. Good morning. For this private equity interview, we have with us Hermant uh, Matt Kokar, uh, who serves as an operating partner at the RMP Group, as well as managing and running a private investment office. Hermant, thanks for joining us here this morning. Thank you, Tio, for having me. Great. All right, so the first question, I uh, I spoke a little bit about your experience, but I was wondering if you could please briefly describe your position now. Uh, what do you do in private equity? Um, I am actually an operating partner at the RMP Group. Uh, in my current role, I am sourcing, structuring, and funding deals, different private equity deals in the in the mid market private equity segment. Mm-hmm. I am also running the family office and its day to day operations, as well as managing a team of up to fifteen professionals at various levels who are working on a bunch of other initiatives for our family office. Great. All right, so you get a little bit of both sides. You get the private equity side and the family office side. That's interesting. Absolutely. Okay, uh, what was your professional experience prior to entering the private equity industry? Did you work in investment banking or related field? I think I saw something about uh, tech. Yes, actually um, I have been an entrepreneur all my life. Um, Started and sold a bunch of businesses as well as I was a technology and a management consultant for about 15 years before I jumped into the private equity world. Um, Mm -hmm. Things just materialized for me I have no formal training in in uh, private equity uh, or investment banking. Um, my training is basically my experience as a consultant and running my own companies. Um, I have the financial acumen, you know, just just uh, running different enterprises and and sourcing. I have been on the other side of of the fence, so coming into the private equity world was relatively easy for me. Oh sure. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a pretty interesting way for you to get into the industry, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, was there any particular education or training that you think uh, best prepared you for private equity? It sounds like a lot of it's just being an entrepreneur and being able to prepare yourself for deals like that. Yes, I, I think it is imperative that you do have a good financial background. After all, I mean, it is, it is all about about um, raising the money, raising the funds, and, and deploying those funds. Um, so definitely uh, having a good financial background is a must. Now, having mm-hmm. said that, it is equally important for you to have a very good business acumen. What we have seen um, at the end of the day, I would I would give more uh, more experienced private equity individuals or people who who been running um, some sort of business or the other, mm-hmm. and and they know more about operating a business than just coming from a purely financial number crunching background because, as you can appreciate to you, at the end of the day, uh, a projection is just a projection. Absolutely. It's, it's all in the assumptions, and the best assumptions are made by people who have been in the business of, of doing or, or running a business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I know personally we get a lot of uh, people interested in working in private equity that come straight out of business school or even straight out of undergraduate, and they don't really have any experience uh, running a business, working in a business. And I think that's really crucial, like you said, uh, to get that experience under your belt and especially to be able to like have experience operating a business is pretty important. Absolutely. Okay, so I was wondering... Uh, are there any trends that you see in private equity industry right now? Certainly, there are a bunch of trends which which we have observed for the last couple of months, uh, almost a year. Um, I think with the current economic and uh, uh, political uncertainty, the most of the limited partners have become very very concerned about risk management. Even the mm-hmm. family offices are very concerned about how they deploy their capital. And everybody wants to de-risk their capital between 12 to 18 months um, on not just an early stage deal, but even companies which traditionally have been fitting very nicely into the LP model. 
We hope you enjoyed the sample interview. To listen to the full interview and other private equity interviews, become a platinum member at privateequity.com or join the Certified Private Equity Professional CPEP Certificate Program. Platinum members enjoy great benefits like weekly private equity newsletters, access to networking events, webinars, interviews, and more. Visit privateequity.com backslash association for a free two-week trial of platinum membership.